Okay, in today's video we're going to discuss antibodies as quickly as possible and in as much detail as we can. So antibodies are proteins. Okay, and another name for them is immunoglobulin. Now, if you look at a structure of a antibody, it looks something like this. There are dots and then it's connected like this like this and then there's uh, another region here so this here is the simplified version this is what it actually looks like something like this but this is a simple version now remember they are proteins we have this region here which is the constant body so in all antibodies this is usually going to be the same we have these little red tips I don't know if you can see from the color but the ends of them are red these are the variable, variable bodies and between different classes of antibodies they can change in terms of their structure now we have this middle bit here okay these are the heavy chains heavy chains and we have these ones here on this side and these are the light chains okay now, these regions here are the antigen binding sites. This is where the antigen will bind to the antibody. But we don't really understand at the moment, so far as the video has gone, what do antibodies do? So let's discuss this now. So antibodies work in the immune system. They are a very important, let's say, characteristic or structural characteristic of the immune system. Now, they work under two sort of mechanisms detection of foreign bodies and response to foreign bodies I'll write this down so they work under detection and response okay now we've looked into the structure here so let's look at how this affects its function so the way an antibody detects and responds is in a type of tagging or binding mechanism they tag and bind onto foreign bodies or more specifically antigens this is what they bind onto now what are antigens antigens are very small molecules which contain epitropes on their surfaces this helps in terms of the recognition these are polysaccharides well they can be polysaccharides and the antigen will bind onto it like this remember it has a Y shaped structure so antibodies themselves here they are produced by B cells or plasma cells and they can appear on the surface of a cell so we have a cell here and they can be present on the surface like this or they can be secreted for example into the blood so you'll have red blood cells here and then you'll have antigen uh, antibodies like this okay now we know that the antibodies will bind onto antigens here well in this sort of way but what does this do this binding to the antigen what it does is it initiates a sort of like a recognition from one second from T cells T cells will recognize this antibody has binded onto this antigen and what it will do is it will attack and engulf the foreign body because we do not want this antigen in our body it's a foreign body and we the body wants to remove this so it will engulf this antibody uh, antigen these are the main principles of antibodies uh, you can have different classes of antibodies they are I G A I G D I G E I G 
G and IgM. I'll make another video going into these in a bit more detail. But that is the basics of antibodies. That's the main things you need to know. If it's helpful, write a comment below. If I miss something out, uh, write a comment as well. And make sure you subscribe. I'll be uploading some more videos very soon. Thanks for watching.